and one game won't be taking place as scheduled tonight. Tonight's J.C. Harmon and Washington game in Kansas City, Kansas is canceled. The district said on Facebook that some student athletes are quarantined following a possible COVID-19 exposure. And taking a look now at the very latest COVID-19 case numbers in the metro. In Kansas, the monthly positivity rate is down to 10.1%. That's still high compared to the beginning of July. And also in Missouri, the spread of COVID-19 is dropping slightly. The positivity rate is down to 12%. And new data from the Kansas City, Missouri Health Department shows a troubling trend with COVID-19 cases in kids. Since June, cases among kids under 18 years old are more than 1,000, up more than 1,000%. And from May 1st to August 31st, the health department says that 1,203 children under 18 were hospitalized with the virus. Health officials say community spread, unvaccinated Kansas Cityans, and easing safety precautions, the result for the high case numbers. I know that there's a lot of COVID fatigue out there. I know that people want this behind us. Um, but we are still in the middle of a global pandemic. With kids settling back to in-person learning, the health department says they'll get case numbers later this month to show kids and how they're being impacted. Well, three days into the month and three people have died from the coronavirus at the University of Kansas Health System. Well, none of the three were vaccinated against COVID-19. Dr. Vincent Racanello is a lead virologist at Columbia University. He agrees with what doctors at the health system have said all along. This pandemic ends with vaccination. Um, I, I am convinced that vaccination of a good fraction of the population, 80% or more, let's say, uh, would end circulation. Well, the doctor says that could take time since many countries don't have access to the vaccine, which is why he says it is so important for people who do to get the shots.